At this point, we are all aware of Wanderlust Ghana and their expedition to London. Driving from Accra to London, a lot of people are talking about it. A lot of people are saying good things about it. Now, one person has gone to the other side, Councillor Lutrot, saying bad things about it, saying that it is useless. The, the drive that they drove me is useless. Also, Kantanka has come out to respond. A lot of people were asking questions that why didn't they involve Kantanka in this Accra to London drive? They said that they approached Kantanka and they didn't get any positive feedback. Kantanka has also come out to respond. I have the full gist. I'm the headless YouTuber, there's headless reactions. I like to Yanko! The people who drove from Accra to London, he said that we approached Kantanka for a meeting, but we didn't get any support from them. They didn't even give us the time of day. News has been spreading that they tried to reach Kantanka and even a meeting, but they couldn't even honor a meeting that, okay, let's meet on Tuesday to talk about this. Now, Kantanka, Nana Kwajo Safu Kantanka, he came out to say that was never contacted though. Hmm, a few heads will roll since it's a Monday. This is something I would have loved to be part of. And he added some sad emojis. So as it's a Monday, yeah, then it means that yes, Safo Kantanka is going into the office, going to ask questions. Who received that call and turned them down? Now he was interviewed by Belamundi on TV3 and according to him, he was not contacted. Nobody on his team was contacted. After questioning his team, he's saying that nobody on his team was contacted. So right now, no. It's like a he say, she say story. Either someone in Kantanka's office is telling lies or someone in Wonderland is telling lies. Watch this video. So um, before I even start saying anything, yesterday I got a call from one guy named Kojo uh, Koto. Mm. That he was calling from, I think, city, city people or so. And he said, they tried contacting me through my, my people and I think they were not able to successfully reach me. Mm. So I was like, yeah. But the funny thing is, I only got to know about this expedition um, on Saturday. Oh. Yeah, and I was marveled because I've not really been out there lately. I was not feeling too well. So I just took some time off to rest and um, get better. Mm. So currently, I, I, I had no idea of the expedition. If you know me very well, mm -hmm. aside being the CEO, I love cars, I love driving. So if it was something that even Kantanka was going to be on, trust me, I would probably have selected maybe two cars, being in one, and probably give one to another person. Mm. So you didn't yeah. know, but, but who did they contact on your team then? Because we need to That's understand. That's the funny thing. That's the funny thing. I called an emergency meeting yesterday. Uh -huh. And the truth is, my people, I'm not saying that I trust human beings, but uh -huh. I've worked with these people for quite some time now, and I know them. Mm. If someone did a certain blunder, they would have just called me separately to see you. But they didn't contact anyone on my team. Mm. How is that possible? Yeah. Because they were very specific so yesterday. Strange. They said... They tried to reach you. They were trying to get, you know, a meeting, and that didn't happen. You're saying you didn't get a call? No, it's not possible. No member of your team got no a call. Way. So then why is your tweet saying that heads will roll? Yeah, if I said that because I thought maybe someone on my team picked up a call and did not um, let me know about what was going on. Well, like he said, he trusts the people that he works with. And he knows that if somebody messes up like this, the person would come to him personally and say that, boss, hey, I was the one who messed up. Of course I fucked up. Who would never fuck up hands in the air? <laughs> <laughs> That's what he's saying. Now, if somebody has indeed been contacted at Kantanka and the person didn't, um, re didn't give them the time of day, and the person is telling lies to Kweju Safwa, then hmm. Another issue that people were asking is, the Kantanka cars and Kasano, are they even strong enough to drive all the way from Accra to London? And this is what he said about that. Concern has been that are your cars durable enough to go on such long expeditions? And these are very of genuine questions that people have asked on social media. Of course, of mm. course. I mean, Bella, look, 
um, we have been bidding for contracts, yeah? And with bidding for contracts, there are certain specifications that these government um, agencies require from the vehicles. If you look at a company like uh, Forestry, they use, I think, I think more than 20 of my vehicles. If you look at a company like NIA, they use my vehicles as well. I mean, these are even the office of the president, Otun Fuor, the Asante Hene. I mean, I have put these cars on very harsh uh, treatments and conditions just to be able. Plus myself, my friend is, uh, my very great friend is, uh, and partner is John Dumelu. Mm. I gave him a, one of my pickups to drive for more than a month. You can ask him. I mean, I, it would be lovely to call John and ask him. Mm. I give my cars out to people that are even shooting movies. I can see, say, oh, eh, it's not too durable, so I am scared to give it to somebody out there. Nah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so according to him, Nadia Kantanka can go. Kantanka could have gone on that journey. And because he himself, he loves traveling, he would have even joined them. That means it would have been two Kantanka cars. He would be in one, and another person would be in one. And then they would go. But another person has raised a point on social media that, these people who went all the way from Accra to London, they went with a Ford Raptor. They didn't contact Ford before going. They went with a G-Wagon. They didn't contact Mercedes-Benz before going. They went with a Lexus. They didn't contact Lexus before going. So why are they contacting Kantanka? For Kantanka to give them a car. Did Ford give them a car? Did G-Wagon give them a car? Nobody gave them a car, so they should have just bought Kantanka and go. What do you think about that? Let me know in the comment section. Now, Councillor Lutrot, Councillor George Lutrot, he, yeah, he said the expedition and the driving that these people drove all the way from Accra to London, it is useless. They put themselves in danger and they shouldn't have done it. Now, the fact that they've, got, they've gotten to their destination successfully does not negate the fact that what they did was useless. Listen to this. This is a wrong move. And if there's okay. anything we should tell them, you, we should let them know that they shouldn't repeat this thing again until they go through the right process. Process, yeah, very important. The fact that Obi used the wrong process to get the right results doesn't mean we should follow. What do you mean, come on, I say? Me too, I say. Omako, Omalandi, Nyami na modi anase. Nipa ya di biye nko ye kroro di yami. Je komi ni nyami iso. Oba ya di papa kase, ah. Na, se si ame suwa wako abante, wase u nyami na. Yes, some now man are called about them. What didn't throw? No, didn't she? That man. It didn't throw. Any wrong means can get people right place or be, but it's not the right thing. And it's toxic. They have gone. I don't know what they have put Ghana in the negative image by risking their life. Yeah, minia. Because the MU, this uprising, coup, coup d'état, rebels, uh, uh, France say, uh, oh, sacrament for the Edimbe and the Diamani, and go for a spice by EB. Al Qaeda. You could have been somebody could have just attacked you and kill you. Nigeria from Grovon to go and fear and call Nigeria by road. Dominion attacks for Kwaiso. Ah, that be that mean you are right. And I don't see them killing us. Oh, yes, I know there. Even from Akra to Kumasi Kran Grovon, you attack. So you want to do such a very you want to do such a very important you should do very, very important venture like this where you want to go into record for the country destination exhibition. Hey. The secret kind is the biggest thing. You know, you have to What must you say? Any you do, you have to Destination. Who do we have to say in Ghana? And now, baby, pay. And now, boy, I'm going to pay one for crying so I go. Oh, boy, oh, baby. Boy, oh, baby, you didn't buy me. Well, as a matter of fact, so somebody went somewhere, and even though they didn't go by land, when you did, you say, oh, you're the person. Oh, be on trial, dear, with you. And the ministry should sit up. The ambassadors should sit up because the Bema. Say a nukresa me nantia fi hako. Can't we now fair bunyin and we have ambassadors representing us? And that's okay. <coughs> so okay. Is it is it not that we have ambassadors in almost all the countries they went to? Okay, then. So if there's a proper plan and proper destination, <laughs> shouldn't they pass through those they read before they land? Oh, cause only as on when you are visa. I mean, both should not go But special, special. Ice. Now, this is what happens when you are talking by heart. You are 
your way to choke you, you have to drink water. You have to drink water. <laughs> you have to drink water. <laughs> now, let me know, do you sign with Councillor Luchot or not? And it's kind of obvious that Councillor Luchot didn't do a lot of research before taking a side. And at this point, I strongly believe that Councillor Luchot sometimes tries to go to the negative tangent or argue from a different tangent just to keep the conversation going. It's like if everybody is supporting A, Councillor Luchot will intentionally support B. Because these people, they had to do a lot of preparation before going. When they set their mind to go on this trip, they had to do insurance. They had to get a um, permission from almost all the countries that a, they drove through. No? Because you can't just drive your car through any country like that. You need some documents. You also need visas for all the countries you are, you are driving through. For the ECOWAS countries, they said they passed with the Ghana card. After the ECOWAS countries, no, the rest, they had to go and get proper documentation. Schengen visa. UK visa. It's only one person who wasn't having the UK visa because he didn't file early. Aside that, no, the rest of them, every country they went through, they had the proper documentation. They had prepared. And because of, you see, there's another route from Ghana. That passes through Burkina Faso, passes through Mali, ne, 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 and goes all the way to Morocco. But they didn't use that route because that route is quite dangerous. That's why they use the other route through Senegal, through Mauritania. That is it. So sometimes I feel Councillor Lutra to know. Sometimes he just wants to talk so that people will talk about him. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, let me know what you think about this. Do you think Councillor Lutra is making a strong point? Or you think Councillor Luchot is just being Councillor Luchot? Let me know in the comment section. And I don't know, watch other videos on this channel. Tell somebody about Headless. Yeah, then. Yeah,